So that's the inside of the space station. So you can see that's a pretty big joint there. Um, that's down on the shuttle's mid-deck. Um, exercise, very important. Um, to stay nice and healthy because, you know, when you're up in space, you don't really use your legs much, but you're going to eventually need them when you come back. Um, so there's the space station crew. There were seven on the shuttle, three on the space station, and we had our Thanksgiving dinner. It's a big American holiday, so just like people at home have it, so do we. So I always say we play with our food because we can. That's the fun part about space. A bit nervous on launch day because you're strapped in, in your seat, and they strap you in um, well over an hour, maybe even up to two hours. They'll start two hours before liftoff and try to and get everybody um, strapped into their seats. They, they shoot for 45 minutes. So you've been lying there for a while. You've got a communication cap on so you can listen to everything that's going on between all the talk between the ground control um, in, at Kennedy Space Center. And then when they start getting down to the final countdown, that's when you realize that this is real. And when the main engines light, the, uh, the whole stack does vibrate a little bit. Uh, but when the main, when those solid rocket boosters launch, um, then it vibrates a lot. Um, it's loud, but it's not as loud as like the video is. Um, that's it. It's louder for the people watching it on the ground. And if you think about it, it's because, okay, if this was our space shuttle, we're going up like this. Those rockets are, the exhaust is back here and we're going away from the sound. Um, so that's why it's not quite that loud. Um, it is really, really shaky. Um, but it happens so fast, you know, eight and a half minutes, and then all of a sudden it gets quiet because the engine shut off and there's no sound. And when you get out of your seat, you float. And that's just a wonderful feeling to be floating.